Today, we will reflect on the life of Saint Teresa of Avila, both virgin and doctor of the church. Teresa was born in Avila, Old Castile, some 50 miles northwest of Madrid, Spain. At the age of 20, after reading the letters of Saint Jerome, she entered the Carmelite convent. Now this is what she believed. Prayer is the doorway to great graces. If this door is closed, I do not see how God can bestow any graces. During a time of ill health, she began to practice mental prayer and the confessions of Saint Augustine inspired her to give herself unreservedly to God. She was overwhelmed with intellectual visions, ecstasies, levitations and other extraordinary graces. Our Lord Himself repeatedly spoke to her and a seraph pierced her heart, this was in the year somewhere 1559, and she experienced the spiritual espousal. For Teresa, this result resulted in years of ridicule and misunderstanding as her early confessors considered her visions diabolical in nature. Extrovert by nature and affectionate of disposition, Teresa had the ability to adapt herself quite easily to all kinds of persons, situations and circumstances. Through 20 years of spiritual struggle, Teresa slowly learned detachment from all creatures, abnegation and perfection in following God. She said, The prayer that pleases God most is the one which brings about improvement and which shows itself in good works rather than the pleasure of one's own satisfaction. Under due obedience to her superior, Teresa wrote her life story, The Way of Perfection, The Interior Castle and Conception of Love of God. Teresa of Avila died on the 4th of October 1582. She was canonized in 1622 by Pope Gregory XV and declared a doctor of the church by Pope Paul VI in 1970.